Ow. <laughs> I'm sitting on a step stool because there's no space for a chair in here, and this I can fold up and sit on when I need to. Hey everybody, it's me. These are going to be the books coming out summer of 2019 that I want to read, and I will give you a brief description if I can remember what happens in these books. There's a couple newer ones that I added this morning that I might have to look up, but for the most part, I know the gist of these and I'm pretty excited for all of them. On June 4th, Wild and Crooked by Leah Thomas comes out. This is about a girl who goes back to her dad's hometown for high school. He left the town. I think he left the town, but he's infamous in the town because he murdered someone as a teenager. So she's going to school under a different name so people don't connect the two, I'm assuming. And the other main character is a boy who has cerebral palsy and not only that, he, his dad was murdered. But they become friends, maybe more, I'm not sure, the basis of their relationship, but things start coming to light. I think about who she is and what happened back when her dad was a teenager. I don't know if the connection that we're supposed to draw is that her dad murdered his dad or if it's just a coincidence because if her dad was a teenager, did he have her as a teenager? Were they all? So, I'm not trying to poke plot holes into something that I haven't read yet. I'm just interested, I think. And this one kind of reminds me of a, another book that I read that I didn't like, but I'm going to hopefully not draw any connections to that one because I really, 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 really disliked that book. But we'll just move on. So... The next one comes out June 11th. It's Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina Mae Safi. And this is a female-female YA contemporary romance about two girls. One of them, she says she, it's the, oh boy. The description said she's a straight A cheerleader. Pretty popular, I think. Everybody, for the most part, likes her. And then the other main character is an aspiring director and she decides to do a film project for her senior year and she wants the other main character if only I could remember anyone's names but she wants the other main character to star in it but the only issue with that is that she doesn't like her they um they have some history that's all based on a misunderstanding that hopefully gets cleared up really really soon in the book because it's not my favorite type of trope, the misunderstanding, especially if it's very, very drawn out. So hopefully that's not one that colors a lot of the book. So we'll see. The next one that comes out on June 11th is a new adult slash adult. I'm not completely sure. It might be just an adult, but this is Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. I think Tessa Bailey does mostly new adult, so I'll call that new adult. But so, it's about a girl who plans children's parties as her career. I don't know why I'm holding that. She plans children's parties, and her neighbor, like across the, across the street from her, is one of her siblings' best friends. He was a former athlete who's come back home and is now flipping houses, and they pretend to date for some reason, and I'm sure they fall in love. So I'm excited for that one. I think it seems like a pretty cute summer read that I'm looking forward to. And then the last one that I have for June is Technically You Started It by Lana Wood Johnson. This one is a YA contemporary about a girl who is doing a project with a boy, and they're texting about the project, but despite the name, despite the fact that it's a very long name and it would seem very bizarre that two people have the exact same name. Not to say that it doesn't happen, but it seems a little weird. Actually, I probably can't judge because someone was a year behind me with the same first and last name, but different middle name from me throughout my entire school life. But she has polarizing feelings about these two boys, one of them she likes and the other one she doesn't. 
but she doesn't know which one she's texting. So, it sounds cute. Hopefully it's not done too weirdly. It kind of reminds me, I get vibes of the Cinderella story with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray that came out in like 2008? 2006? When did that come out? 2004. I was off. I was quite off. Now on to July, which is my birthday month. Nothing coming out on my birthday. A couple things before, a couple things after. But the first one that I have comes out July 2nd. This is We Walked the Sky by Lisa Fielder. This is a multi-generational circus-centric story. So there's our main character, and then in a separate timeline, the main character's grandmother, and the grandmother is joining the circus. She's going to the circus, and I think it's going to be her experience. She's introduced to the circus and working there, and details about that, and then our main character is leaving the circus with her mother, because her mother wants to go teach at a university somewhere. So I'm really excited. The cover of this one is really pretty. Um, I just read The Night Circus, and I have some feelings about it, but I feel mostly like I would have appreciated more circus aspects from it, so hopefully I get that with this one. The next one, I think, this is one of the new ones that I added, so I'm going to look at my laptop for the um, synopsis, and this comes out on July 2nd, and it is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, and I have never read anything, I don't think, let me check, I don't think I've ever written, read anything, I have not, I've heard a lot about it, I think that Books and Lala reads, that might be where I've heard the name, but this is about a woman, a young woman, who is house-sitting in a Manhattan apartment building, and she meets another apartment sitter who reminds her of her sister that she lost eight years ago, but apparently there's a dark history to this apartment building, and then the other apartment sitter disappears. And so our main character is just going to search for her, but also the history of this place, and kind of, I guess, learns about a killer, the building's past. And it seems interesting. The next one, next three, come out on July 9th. So the first one is The Traitor's Kingdom by Aaron Beatty. This is the third book in the Traitor's Kiss trilogy, so it's the conclusion. I'm not going to say anything spoilery, but I really enjoyed the first book, was kind of left feeling eh about the second book. It didn't do anything great, but I didn't hate it. So I'm going to continue on, see how it ends. I'm hopeful that it turns out really well, but it could go either way. And then the next one that comes out July 9th is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. This is a Lord of the Flies retelling set in an all-girls school. I read Lord of the Flies in high school eight years ago, I guess. Jeez. So I don't really remember it, but I'm excited for this one. There's a lot that happens in Lord of the Flies. I guess it'll be interesting to see how the author, if and how she modernizes it a little bit. I'm interested. I'm interested, and I really like this cover too. Then the last one that I want to read that comes out July 9th is Heartwood Box by Anna Guire. This one is about a girl who goes to stay with her grandma, question mark? in a town where things go missing, things and people go missing, and they're never found. So I think there's the mystery of that, and this one reminds me of another book that I read, but probably this one's a little bit more, it's a little bit darker than that one. I'm excited about where this one goes. Moving to July 16th, the Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory comes out, and this is a hate-to-love romance, adult romance. I've, I haven't read any of 
Jasmine Guillory's books, but I think for the most part they get really good reviews. I think that the cover for this one is really pretty as well. Um, Hate to Love, Set at a Wedding, pretty much takes all my boxes, so I'm excited for this one. The next one is coming out on July 23rd, and this is Soul of Stars by Ashley Poston. This is the second book. Heart of something? Heart of Iron. Oh my gosh, that took forever. I think that this cover is so pretty. But, okay, very pretty cover. It's the sequel to Heart of Iron, and this is a space opera-esque retelling of Anastasia. So, I'm excited to see where this one goes. The first book was a lot of setting up the world and building everything up, and I felt like it was a lot, a lot of details and info dumping. So I'm excited to see if there's question mark, a little bit more plot that happens in this one, because I love anything Anastasia. Now on to August. So the first one that comes out in August that I want to read comes out August 6th, and this is Reticence by Gail Carriger. But Gail Carriger has really found her niche in what she likes and what works for her, and that would be steampunk England <laughs> set after the Industrial Revolution, but instead of going the direction that we did, they go more steam, steam power thing. So it's a really cool world. Um, I've been reading these books for a long time. All of her series are some, they're set in the same world, but still somewhat connected, like characters pop in and out of the series. This is the fourth book in the Custard Protocol series. It started shifting perspectives, which I didn't love so much from the last book that came out, but I still really enjoy the world and the characters and I'll keep reading it. If she keeps writing it, I will... I'll keep reading it. Another one that comes out August 6th is Say You Still Love Me by K.A. Tucker. This is about a young woman I don't want to say girl, so I'll say young woman, who works at her dad's real estate development company, I think is what they called it, but she's a VP or something close to that position, and she's, I think she's the only woman who has a position like that at the company, and she works with her ex fiance and she deals with a lot of misogyny, and I'm sure um, people calling nepotism on that, and she's having a tough time, but the new security guard that the building has hired was her first love from, like, a summer camp. The only problem is he says he doesn't remember her, so I think that the summary of this is a little weird, so I'm going to draw my own conclusions and kind of forget about that. I think, hopefully, that this is going to be the story of them like re-meeting each other and getting to know each other and not as creepy as the synopsis makes it. But I could be reading it totally wrong. Maybe it's supposed to be like a psychological thriller because it says that she wants to make him remember her no matter the cost. So I feel like it could go either way. It's very strange. I've never read anything by K.A. Tucker so I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. But I guess we'll see closer to the day that it comes out. Okay, another one that comes out August 6th is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. And this is another one with a semi-complicated plot. She finds an ad to be a live-in nanny. And so she goes to the Scottish Highlands and is currently in prison. She's incarcerated because one of the kids, or someone died, a child died. One of the kids that she's watching dies. And so she's writing a letter to her lawyer trying to explain what happens. It seems interesting. It's kind of convoluted to try to explain it without just reading straight out the synopsis, which is not what I wanted to do. It's not what I'm about. Not in my life. But it seems interesting. You know, kind of spooky, kind of exciting. 
Okay, last two books. The first one is coming out on August 13th. This is Blood Truth by J.R. Ward. This is the fourth book in the Black Dagger Legacy series. So it's a spin-off series of the Black Dagger Brotherhood, which is also still running. Um, shit ton of books. Whole lot of books. But these follow a vampire race in New York. And them their struggles with being a somewhat dying out race um and the other their opposite so everything has an opposite their opposites are called lessers and they're kind of like demons and so that's the purpose of the brotherhood is to fight these demons and keep everybody else safe so they're training new people and these new people will like fall in love and it's all, everybody's story. I've really enjoyed the series. I've been reading this for years now, so I'll just keep going with all of the ones that come out, and it's just how I live my life now, you know? This is uncomfortable. And the last book that also comes out on August 13th I am super pumped for, and this is The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. I think that I fell in love completely with the second book. This is the third book in a series, and the second book was The Governess Game. <sighs> I loved it. I loved that book. And so I'm hoping and secretly putting a lot of hype into this myself. I'm very excited for this one. This is about an eccentric spinster who takes in animals. She just has a soft spot in her heart for animals she takes in she's got like teacup pigs maybe a goat i think and like three-legged dogs and cats and birds she gets a new neighbor and he tells her that she has to get rid of the animals and she says the only way that she will is if he can find them new homes and it goes from there i'm sure they fall in love i'm very excited for this one it seems like a really cute premise, lots of animals intermixed, and hopefully the characters from the past two books will pop in as well. I'm really excited. I'm very, very excited about this book. Alright, if you have any books that are on this list or on your own list, let me know down below. If not, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!